Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. First and foremost, before I start this lesson, I want to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Makakudash. My name is Tazimah Kamaf. Brother Tazir Machsa. Brother Ashar. And we come from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches the truth and we will. Peace and citation to the hopeful light that's scattered abroad. All right, and you, as you read, it says Senate passes a bill that will ban TikTok on government devices. You know, and um, me and a brother, um, Taziera, we had seen this on the news while we was um, while we was out. We had seen it on the news, and I was like, "Damn, like, bro, the fam of the word finna come." Because if they want to ban TikTok, how much more these other social media platforms? And it says on government devices, so your Apple phone your samsung even your um your government issued uh trap phone <laughs> that bit finna be bad tiktok and then it's gonna be youtube then it's gonna be twitter it's gonna, man it's gonna be the whole nine mm -hmm. all right and we have this video where they were um talking about it on the news let me see if i can play it Dishery, gentlemen, thank, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Merry Christmas to you both. Okay, Ken Paxson, first to you. How bad is it with China spying on Americans via TikTok? Look, I think it's a real serious concern. The fact that the President of the United States talked about this two years ago, Donald Trump, he was the first one out there, and now you've got the FBI director, Christopher Ray, talking about this at the University of Michigan, saying it's a real threat. And also, states have been responding. And I want to say the only reason why they say it's a threat is because fucking Esau is getting exposed on TikTok. Mm -hmm. All the things they do, it gets exposed on TikTok. They, bro, all the things they do gets exposed on TikTok. All right, that's why they want to get rid of it. And the reason why they can't control it is because it's Chinese owned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, they want to put their hands on everything, and now they got something they can't touch that's exposing their ass. And they they want to um, ban it in the, in the U.S. And you know while they while in China, they teach um, you know educational things, but now in uh, Babylon, America, they teach things where they uncover the Illuminati, the wicked. They got a whole bunch of folly, whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Nine yards. That's right. The center of perdition is being revealed, mm -hmm. and they don't like that shit. Uh, let me play this. To the, to warning, the warning from, from the, federal the federal government. government. So I, I think it's real. real. I, 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 I have the same, same question. Why, why is the federal government, government banning, banning the use of it as well? well. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud, proud of our government, government for stepping, stepping up and doing it, doing it at this, this moment. moment. Congressman, to what Ken Paxton is saying, it's great to have you on, sir. We are hearing the House Republican Conference is reportedly working on a ban of TikTok for all U.S. government workers. That TikTok, China is basically scraping and getting U.S. user location data and more. Is this true that the Republican Conference is moving on this? It is. What we're seeing is that there's an absolute linkage between, between TikTok, TikTok, the app, and, and ByteDance, the, the corporation that, that administers, administers it. And, and ByteDance uh, is, is part of the CCP. So, so I mean, what, what, what we, we see, see is right before, before our eyes, and, and, and we, we understand, understand that, that the, the app has become, become wildly, wildly popular, popular in America. In America. But quite, quite honestly, honestly it's, it's a window, window to, America to America as well, well and, and uh, that's, that's why, why these states, states are, are starting, starting to be urged by many, many of the federal, federal lawmakers, lawmakers because, because there probably isn't enough speed at the, at the federal, federal level on this, this but, but the White, White House, House is well aware, aware of, what's of what's going, going on, on here, and I'm not sure why they're, they're not willing, willing to act and, and do, and do it, now. it now. Well, let's talk about that. So that's pretty much the end of this, because Esau just going to run his mouth. So let's um let's get that first scripture out. <clears throat> this is the book of Amos chapter 8 and verse 11 mm -hmm. behold the days come saith the Lord Yahweh that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh right so the Lord you know he's going to send a famine you know of course of food and water which is going to be a scarcity of but the most important thing is going to be hearing the words of Yahweh Shem Yashai. You know, when his prophets are not out there on the streets, on the corners, when you can't find them on YouTube anymore, 
you know, and as you can see, they want to ban TikTok. And some brothers, they be on TikTok exposing the truth, you know, uh, teaching the names of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, showing you who our enemy is, etc. When they ban it, when they take that off, which is all the will of the Lord, you know, everybody's going to be trying to look for the, uh, for the men of the Lord, man, for this truth. Go ahead. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. Mm hmm. And from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai, and shall not find it. Right. So they're going to be looking all around the world just to find us, man. And the Lord, what he's going to do is he's going to put us, you know, in a secret place where you can't find us. We're going to be literally like untouchable. Mm -hmm. you, you can't find us. We're going to be hiding away. And when the Lord takes us away, that means he, he shut his mouth. Okay, because we are the mouthpiece of the Lord, you know, um, from the prophets. The prophets are the mouthpiece of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So if if the prophets start talking, that means the Lord is done talking. And hey, Jake is very rebellious and hard headed. They want to get right when they want to get right. It don't work like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna read a little bit of this article. It says TikTok is a Trojan horse for the Chinese Communist Party. It's a major security risk to the U.S. And until it is forced to sever to severe ties with China completely, it has no place on government devices, Holly said. State across the U.S. are banning TikTok on government devices. It's time for Joe Biden and the Democrats to help do the same. <sighs> Damn, boy. Family the worst finna fucking hit the fan. And mm -hmm. hey, brother, you got that on um, one precept? I sure. Um. Go ahead. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 26. Mm -hmm. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. Come, you gonna make he gonna make our tongue to cleave to the roof of our mouth, man. Literally, the Lord's gonna put the spirit on us to stop speaking. Okay, go ahead. That thou shalt be dumb and shalt not be to them a reprover, mm -hmm. for they are a rebellious house. Right. And that and that house the Lord's talking about is talking about Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, so we ain't gonna be talking no more. The Lord's not gonna be talking no more. Um, if a brother could give me, um, actually, I'll grab it. I got another one too. Go ahead. This is the book of Amos, chapter five, verse thirteen. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. Right. It's going to be an evil time, man. The prudent is going to stay silent, which is the wise. <laughs> Why? Because, hey, man, we ain't going to be fucking teaching when it's all hell breaking loose and evil. You crazy? <laughs> nah, man, we're going to be running for our life. You know, we're going to be demonized and all type of stuff, man. All right? They're going to they gonna paint the picture as we're the villains. But really, we're just, just trying to fucking, you know, help wake up the elect and expose our enemy. Okay? Um, I got this precept, Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Okay, so, hey, this is the high time to, you know, wake up and seek the Lord. Because if you don't find him, you're going to wish you found him in that day. You're going to wish, you know, when famine and pestilence and the armies come. You're going to wish you found the Lord, man. You're going to wish you knew that name, too. That's very important. See, Jay don't care about the name, but you're going to want to care about that name. You know how Jay, when they get scared, hey, Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> help me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, that name is vain. There is no meaning in that name. The Lord's name is not Jesus. It's Yahweh Shai. So if you call calling upon Jesus to help you, you know, hey, and you disregard the prophets, that's going to be your ass, man. The Lord's going to play literally that, that same message where you was in front of the prophets and they were trying to teach you and help you, and you just disregarded it. Mm -hmm. All right. You got a precept? Um, yeah, I got a precept. Go ahead. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 26, in verse 5. And it says, To hearken to the words of my servants, the prophets... Whom I sent unto you, both rising up early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord, um, you know, 
starting with the elders of Foster Great Millstone. You know, those are the, the, the men of Yahabashima Shai. And, you know, you have them literally all through the day at any time, man, putting up, you know, these videos, these uh, pistols, you know, trying to get Jake to repent, but more so stretching out for the leg. You know, they be on it at night, in the morning. It don't matter what time, mm -hmm. you know, but you still have Jake that was very rebellious. You know, they don't even consider, man. You know, they, they don't even, they don't want to hearken mm -hmm. to the, uh, you know, to what the men of the Lord have to say, but more so, you know, the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. Right, and really, who else is talking about, talking about this, man? You don't see these other camps talking about, you know, famine of the word and, uh, you know, TikTok being banned. Yeah. That's very important prophecy, man. Because if Jake don't realize to get right soon, they're going to be left out here wandering like sheep, man. Prepare for the slaughter. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, Let's see if I can. There's one piece of. I got one too. Based Go ahead. Off what you, based off of what the brother was saying, because it's very important to have the wisdom and knowledge. And right now, in this grace period, you're able to get this wisdom and knowledge. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, and verse 10. It says, When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is, ple is pleasant unto thy soul, Discretion shall preserve thee, mm. understanding shall keep thee. Mm -hmm. So in the time that we're coming in, it's very important to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Like in Isaiah 33 this, and 6. I just thinking For wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times mm -hmm. and strength of salvation. So it's very important to have this knowledge so you can be preserved and you can use discretion. All right? So you can make certain decisions in the times that we're coming in because it's going to be all hell breaking loose, man. All right? Verse 12 says, To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, which is Esau Edom, okay? He's setting up the feminine of the word, man. When he shuts off this internet and you're not gonna be able to get any information no more, guess what? When he comes down with martial law and he tries to, you know, come down with these draconian laws and force people, you know, to take the thing, mm -hmm. you know? If you don't have this wisdom and knowledge and you don't take heed to the the, the men that Yahweh Bosh Rosh set up, then you're gonna fall into that uh, snare, that trap. Right. It says from the man that speaketh for forward things. Mm -hmm. So twisted adverse to the scriptures, man. He's gonna tell you, he's gonna tell you, he's gonna package, you know, the, the thing, you know, the C dash ship. Mm -hmm. You know, he's gonna package it to make it seem like it's gonna save you. And he's gonna do many miracles and wonders and healings. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It's adverse to the scriptures, man. So if you fall into this man's uh trap, because at the end of the day, that's one of the biggest prophecies we're we're looking for, man. You know? When he comes down and he, it's going to be a, a sanction of, of death, man, life or death mm -hmm. to take it. And if you haven't been listening to the prophets and listening to the warnings that the men that are set up by Yahweh Bashim al then that means you're going to fall in that trap, man. And eventually you will take it. And that's how he's going to push his ex his agenda, man. When all the Internet is shut off and there's no more uh, wisdom and knowledge being, you know, uh, liberally brought out. Mm -hmm. With all that getting to get understanding, man, wisdom's a principal thing. That's all on that. Right, and I got this scripture. First Corinthians 14 and 38. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Mm -hmm. So that word ignorant means lack of knowledge of. And if you hey this is a high time of knowledge, man. You can't you can't say, Oh, I don't know. I I, I don't know. No, it's time to put in work research. Look, look things up, man. What, what's going on? What's happening? But you see, Jake, they're gonna be ignorant until the time of chaos hit. That's that's, and, and it shows plenty of times, man. Mm -hmm. Anytime you know a natural disaster, Jake wanna go get right to God. All right, or when Jake family start dying a lot, I'm gonna get closer to God. You know, it, no, bro, it's time to get right now. That's why when I brought up. Isaiah 55, seek the Lord while he may be found. Now, the, you know, the gates of mercy is open. You know, a place of repentance is open unto you. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to get right. Come serve your power, man. Sure. Recognize your power, you know, and give glory to your power, which is Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. Because soon enough, you're going to wish you got, you got, a, you built a relationship with Yahweh Bashim Shah. Mm -hmm. You don't want to wait until the last minute. When Esau got your ass uh, interrogated and fucking about to do some crazy, wicked shit to you, man. Damn. You don't want to wait until that, until he got you in a 
you know, a, a, a you know the Saw type of movie. Yeah. You don't want you don't want him to put you in that type of scene. Oh my gosh, bro! Go ahead. Second Corinthians chapter two and verse eleven, it says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Mm -hmm. All right, so you know, you got uh, Babylon calling, you know, uh, TikTok Chinese spyware, man. You know, the, we know the whole purpose of why he's really, really doing this shit, bro. Like he's really trying to get the man of the Lord off, you know, the internet, man. You know what I'm saying? They're really they're, just, they're trying to stop the truth. Exactly. He trying to they really trying to stop the truth, but scripture tells you how you know you can't do anything against, against the, the truth, truth but, but for the truth. truth. You know, we see many cases of that with these celebrities. You know, uh, what's that one nigga bro that Elder Pastor Tahar be always going back and forth with? Uh and they think he Emilek. Oh, uh, Vocab Malone. Yeah, Vocab Malone, just like Vocab Malone. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, um. Oh, I got. Oh, no, go ahead, bro. No, nah, I had a scripture in mind I wanted to grab. Um, oh, yeah. Break it there, y'all watching me. I'll try. This is Isaiah 10. Where is Isaiah? Um, right here. Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, Woe well unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Okay? So, that word woe well means destruction. Unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Now, we just passed December 13th, where they sign, you know, they want to go towards, you know, central bank digital currency. All right. And we know that hey, that Karagma must come in. And these people about to see. All right. And this also is an unrighteous decree because they want to ban a platform that's, you know, that's a media tool for us to, you know, spread this gospel. All right. And, and how much more YouTube? How much more Instagram? How much more Twitter? You know, and other social media platforms and internet platforms to broadcast this truth. So they're going to write unrighteous decrees. They're going to put it on the media where they slander it. Like, oh, no, this is an evil device and we need to stop it. We need to ban it, you know, and stuff like that. And it says, and that right grievousness, which they have prescribed, man. So they're going to. They're gonna paint the picture to you know America and Babylon. This this is a horrible thing that they're doing to our country, and we need to ban it. We need to delete it from all government devices. Then we need to you know do all this other stuff. But really, it's just showing that a hey, the time of Yahweh Shah is coming very very close, man. And soon enough, this devil, as the scriptures say, the devil have a short time, man. Mm -hmm. Very short time. He has an appointed time where he can't, cannot pass. So, as he knows that, he knows that when he shuts down that internet, which is from you, how about Shimei Shai? A prophecy is gonna start rolling, man. Mm -hmm. All right. That's all. You got any other precepts? Yeah. Or? Go ahead. This is the Book of Psalms, chapter thirty-seven, verse fourteen. It reads, "The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bows mm -hmm. to cast down the poor and needy." And that's going into their legislation and laws Because when you go into that word drawn It goes into engraved And the brother, the last uh, scripture that the brother brought out Will unto them that uh, decree on righteous decrees, man mm. You know, so they're writing down these legislations You know, while most of our people are asleep And they're not focused on, you know, the activity That our enemy been doing mm. Our enemy is putting our people, you know, in a, uh, in a trap, man Okay, when the internet shuts off and you can't get this access no more to this knowledge, all right. If you didn't get any while the getting was good, that's gonna be that's gonna be your ass, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says and to slay such as be of upright conversation. See, upright conversation would be the men that are set up that's bringing out this word because this word is the light and this word is righteousness mm -hmm. and it's destroying all the lies that this man, you know, established his kingdom off of, man. Mm -hmm. Lies and robbery. Right. Deceit, okay, and now with us bringing out this truth, we're putting light onto all this man's atrocious acts, man. And darkness. Mm-hmm. And now he's being exposed, and he he can't go nowhere now. So now he has to what? Bring out his legislation and his laws, all right, in order to combat the truth, man. Mm -hmm. And he's not gonna he's not gonna prevail, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, this man is our enemy, and you you gonna see that he's a devil, man. 
one way or another, whether it be, you know, by taking heed to the word. Or by that sword. Or when this man comes down with that great wrath on you, man. Mm -hmm. And you get no deliverance because you wasn't what? Seeking Yahweh Shemel Shah in a time when his, uh, when Yahweh Shemel Shah's hand was extended to you, man. His right hand, which is Yahweh Shah, man. Right. Kind of was it on that? Mm hmm. Come, man. You know, let's go back to this article. You know, and man, Lord will, man, you see, Jake, do not, do not, do not mess around, man. Do not mess around. This time is coming. And we warned you first, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So with that, Lord Will's lesson been edifying. We want to give our honor and glory and praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Lord Will's lesson been edifying. Till next time we say Shalom. Shalom.